guys okay so my name is Bella for anyone who doesn't know welcome to my channel um new videos every Thursday so if you haven't already I don't know what you're waiting for hit that subscribe button and come on back next Thursday for more okay so today we are here to talk about why it is that a lot of black women don't care for the Kardashians. And when I say Kardashians, I include the Jenners and the, you know, Kardashian slash Jenners. And I know a lot of people are gonna think, oh, it's, you know, because they hate in or because the Kardashians date a lot of black guys and stuff like that. And there's so much more to it. It's, it's the, the thievery of it all. It kind of feels to me as a black woman that the Kardashian Jenners, I'm just gonna say Kardashians because you know we put them all under that same umbrella. The Kardashians, um, they have a tendency to take from our culture and they don't, you know, you might hear the term a lot, culture vulture or like, just, just straight up thieving, let's just, let's just call it what it is. Every time you turn around, it's like the Kardashians stole something from a small company, like they were saying that um, Chloe bought every piece from this, this uh, small company and then took it and tried to make it her own. It's like. Kylie Jenner is facing backlash for cultural appropriation once again, this time for allegedly stealing the designs for her new camo collection. An NYC brand is calling Kylie out, saying that she stole their designs and they're coming with receipts. The brand's creative director posted a series of alleged emails exchanges between their brand and Kylie's team that revealed the NYC brand had provided samples to Kylie. The creative director tagged Kylie in the post with the caption saying, quote, when you really, Pablo, I am the influence drops mic. Copy and paste down to the shoes I use on my models. The Kardashians will take your N-word and brand stamp, LMFAO. Or they, every time you turn around, they taking somebody's man. And I don't wanna say taking because you can't really take somebody's man, but they scheming on someone's man who's supposed to be their friend. And yeah, what about Chloe if you see her? Um, I don't know. Cause she clearly knew you was with him. Everybody knew that. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter because it's like totally girl code. Mm -hmm. That was it one thing that, that was code. We don't know if Chloe's actually a girl. Stop it, man. <laughs> you can't find your own man. You can't find your own style. Or just taking a trend that black people have had, calling it by a different name and be, making this, this new trend, this new popular thing. And it's like, come on. Like, and that's something that we've experienced a lot in this country uh, is things that we do, when we do them, it's ghetto, it's, you know, it's, it's unattractive, it's this, it's that, but when they do it, it's all of a sudden new and exciting and commercial and pop culture, you know, it's the new thing. And it's just so irritating, and they are like the epitome of that. Like, that's what irritates me a lot about them. It's like, we know that happens a lot, but they are just like, habitual thieves of our culture and it's so irritating it's like they want it's like that you know everybody want to be black but nobody want to be black kind of thing like they definitely i know don't consider themselves black or think they're black but they like to take they like to see you know hang around black people and see what they like and take it it, it, it could be your man your style your your lips your face what <laughs> whatever they see that they like they gonna take it we've all heard the stories of them taking people, they're supposedly friends, man. Um, most recent that I've heard about was, um, I didn't realize that there was this girl, this girl Justine Skye. They used to always hang around um, like Chloe and, or not Chloe, I don't, I have you mixing their names. This is hard. This is gonna be hard to say the right names. Okay, cause I don't keep up with the Kardashians. So. This is gonna be difficult, it's gonna be a challenge. But just bear with me, you guys know what I mean. I'll, I'll put in the subtitles if I mess up. Justine Sky used to always hang around Kylie and Kendall. And um, she was this, this just black girl who has purple hair, it's a really pretty girl. And um, she went on The Breakfast Club talking about how basically <clears throat> they found, they wanted to hang out with her. They saw her somewhere, I guess online or something, who knows. And they were like, we want to hang out. We want to be friends with her. We just like hung out. I was actually like pretty nervous because I was just like, why am I like, why do they want to hang out with me? 
I don't really know much about LA or like the LA lifestyle, so like why would they want to hang out with me? So does Kylie ask you tips like, yo, how do you get your lips like that? You know what I'm saying? Things like that nature. How are your nah, cheekbones so full? <laughs> this guy. So stupid. Now get my They seeked her out or whatever and they started hanging out. So recently I found out that the girl Justin Sky was actually kind of dating Travis Scott, who is the baby daddy of, let me, let me not get so ratchet, <laughs> who is the father to Kylie's daughter. Word in the street is you and Travis Scott are an item. Is there I any mean, to we're us? cool. We're just chilling. I mean, he's cool. Okay. We vibe. We kick it. We have great energy. So I guess that means you sort of are or not <laughs> or no confirmation. I don't want to pull no too much out of you. You know what I mean? Like me. I, I knew him already and I uh, liked him. Oh, okay. So that that's why. I was like, oh my God, he DM'd me. What? And his name is? Nothing. <laughs> and it's like, interesting. You And then I guess she unfollowed Kylie and you don't see them together anymore because, you know, they were supposed to be friends and she took her man. It's like, if you look at almost all the guys they've been with, they were previously talking to one of their friends, which is so crazy to me. Like, it, it's, it's, it's not a coincidence. They are they are scheming on people's hands. I mean, like, like they, it's, it's very clear. that They just want to be around you, take what they like, and, you know, see, watch your actions and stuff. You know, they wanted to hang around this girl. And, you know, they hung around her. I'm sure they, you know, fed off a certain thing she did and, Took her man, like I mean, we've seen this time and time again. Black China, you know, Kylie took her dude too. I mean, when well, she was 17, dang, it's a start young. Chloe has been a repeat offender. She was good friends of Lauren London, and Lauren, she was in a relationship with Trey Songs. When Lauren and Trey broke up, Chloe started dating Trey too, and this is why their friendship ended. Also, Chloe was friends with Trina and Chloe dated two of Trina's ex-boyfriends, one of them being French Montana and another one being James Harden. And Trina felt some type of way about this because she was friends with the Kardashians and she was like, this is against girl code. Like, what is happening here? Uh, Kim, we all know about Kim taking people's man. Reggie Bush, I think, was talking to Sierra, who was her friend. They just, I heard Travis even talking to Kendall at a point. So she, they will even mess with people who they sisters dated. So it's, it's a mess. So Let's start with this Kendall, Kylie, Travis love triangle, shall we? According to Hollywood Gossip, Kendall and Travis briefly dated last year, but it was never official. And the reason when I say black women instead of just black people is because it seems like a lot of black guys see them as some type of prize or some type of special thing or something and it's like, it's just weird because it's all fake. Like it's just, they have no original thoughts and it's just, I, I don't want to sound like, I know I sound like I'm hating, but I'm so not. It's just, I'm tired of people profiting off of us, taking stuff from us and making such a profit off of stuff that we've been doing. Even like our lips, like, okay, looks wise, they all got these big old fake ridiculous looking booties. Like, huh? And no one, everyone acts like it's great. Like, <laughs> even lips, like Kylie, she's so popular um, because, you know, she has these big lips now. And we all know those are not her lips. She was not born with those lips. And now people, you see people like using lip plumpers, over lining their lips, um, using suction things to like suck their lips out, you know? <laughs> like whatever they do is the image of beauty it's like oh my god even if it's fake even if they took it from something they took the style from something they took a man from everything whatever if they take something from something people act like oh my god it's new it's innovative wow and it's like when we had big lips for forever people said you know like want to compare us to like a monkey you know but now it's like it's 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 such a big staple in what's beautiful is having big full lips. So it's just like,
hairstyles, they wear wigs, they do stuff that a lot of black women have been doing forever. And when they do it, it's so much new and cool and you know, not everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. And it's like they start a line maybe and profit off of stuff that we have been doing. And it's so irritating. I'm sure you guys heard about the whole boxer braid corn roll fiasco. Of You know, they started wearing, you know, cornrows all the time and wanted to call them boxer braids and it becomes some kind of new style. And it's like, come on, like y'all can't, like, y'all can't be serious right now. Like, y'all ain't see us wearing, wearing cornrows, like really, like this, this is new. Okay. You know, it's, it's cultural appropriation at its finest because they're acting like it's something new. It's not like, it's just, you know, oh, I'm doing this because I saw my friend, did, you know, um, Chantel do this. No, <laughs> it's, this is, we call these box braids. It's like, no, we don't. <laughs> we do not call them box braids. Um, and then recently she did the whole, you know, Bo Derek braids. So guys, I did Bo Derek braids. And I'm really into it. And we all know that that style of cornrows and beads and stuff is something that we brought from Africa here that we, like I had when I was a little kid. That is a long tradition of Africa. So that's not a Bo Derek. Even Bo Derek stole it. Like, let's be real. Like, we're in a world where of course our cultures are gonna collide and we're gonna mix and you know, but we never hear them say like, you know, this came from, you know, you know, I got this from this. I got this from, you know, a black African culture or something. You never hear that. All you see is them profit off of our things. And it's just like, it happens time and time again, even twerking, like Miley Cyrus invented twerking apparently. So whatever. And when, you know, it's always like, it's negative when we do it, but when they do it, it's cute, it's fun, it's, you know, it's commercial, it's, it's innovative, it's wow. It's like, we all want to do that now. It's like, and I know that Kim Kardashian has people around her stylists and stuff, that these aren't her ideas, that people are doing it for her. But you would think because she has like all their kids, all the Kardashians and stuff, kids are like half black and stuff. You would think they would have a little more respect for the culture and, you know, you know, say like, give us a little credit, no. No, because it's, we're like accessories for them. Our culture is an accessory for them. It's not something they take serious. I'm sure it's not something they know anything about. If she's married to Kanye, you would think Kanye would teach her a little something, but Kanye is so far in a sunken place that. That's a whole nother video, <laughs> but yeah. Even there was an article that was saying that Basically, Northwest wearing her natural hair is making it okay for little black girls to wear the natural hair. Like, what? First off, natural hair is not some kind of trend. Let's not like, this is what grows out of our scalp. Her hair is not, her hair is, she's mixed. Okay, let's be real. No, don't try to act like North is like, now she's the little black girl spokesmodel for natural hair, like, Ugh, it's just so, it's frustrating for real. And they just steal, like blatantly steal from us all the time. And <laughs> you know, they want to say people are hating and this, and it's not that, it's the fact, it's, it's, they know what they're doing. Like, for, let's just be real. Like they know why they follow certain people on Instagram and why they want to be friends with certain people. You know, they want to suck the life out of you. They want to steal what you got they know they think like they know what they're doing come on let's just be real they they know exactly what they're doing and they know how to profit off of us our culture is very interesting and it's very unique it's cool and they know that on them it is different than it is on us they know that if they do stuff that we do it'll be seen as more commercial more acceptable so they know they can see something like oh look at that black girl's hair hmm Oh, look at what that black girl's wearing. Hmm. Oh, look at that black girl's booty. Hmm. Oh, look at that black girl's lips. Hmm. 
Mm. It's ridiculous. It's, it's crazy. And black men even are like an accessory to them. Like they love rappers. You a rapper or a basketball player? They got their eye. Like that's 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 the that's what they want. They want the rappers and the basketball players. And that's like the top, I guess, like the cream of the crop of black men of what people think. And you know, people treat them like they are some type of the cream of the crop. And I just don't get what they see in them. You don't hear anything during Black History Month. When someone gets shot by the police, you don't hear anything. They don't care about black people. They just want to take. And that's what bothers us, that they just want to steal from us and not give anything back to our culture. Like, I, I hope you guys get an idea of what I'm saying. Like, it's not that it's like we hating on them because there's nothing in me, not a fiber of my being that wants to be anything like any Kardashian at all because they're trying to be like me. Why would I want to be like them? They want what I got. They want, see these cheekbones? They paying for that. You see these lips? They paying for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would I want to be like them when I got what they want naturally? Just saying. Um, <laughs> just stealing. Just let like, this code is stealing from our culture. That's the watch. You know, Black Panther. The is popular and stuff like that. Watch them have a dashiki on next time you see them or something stupid like that. It's just like, where does it stop? <laughs> Even like Kylie tried to say like she was like. She made wigs popular and stuff. It's just like, come on. Like they... <laughs> oh yeah, I'm the first one to do this, like. Stop, stop it. You are not the first one to do any of this stuff. You don't have an original thought. You just take, and that's why we're so bothered. And her breaking the internet picture, that picture was originally of a black woman. I mean, either way, uh, it's like a naked picture. It's not the best, but just saying. I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it's just, we're tired of being exploited. We're just tired of it. And when we see it, we roll our eyes because we know like, they're getting so popular off of, you know, she's popular from having sex with. Uh, I just, I'm anyway, tired um, of these heifers. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing they do is original. That's all I'm saying. Nothing they do is original and they never give credit where credit is due. And it's just irritating. And black men seem to be hypnotized in some weird way by them. I'm just like, like their booties look so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just looks crazy. It looks crazy. Like, can we just, can we be real? Like, that don't look natural at all. And your face looks stiff now. Like, it's just, I'm sorry. Like, this, and this is, this is put up there as like icons of today. And you know, what people want to strive to be like. It's like, come on. Strive to be fake, strive to take stuff from other people, strive to not be yourself, not love yourself for who you are, but go out and you know, become a manufactured person, like everything bought. And that's, that's what we should try to be. That's what we should strive to be. Something that's stolen, something that's not real. There's nothing real about them. It's all stolen or it's manufactured. And don't, I don't support anything they do. Like, I don't follow none of their pages. I'm not buying no Kylie Cosmic, Kim Co Cosmic, no. I, I don't support it at all. You know, because all they are is about themselves. They just want to profit. And, you know, now all of a sudden, because Rihanna made all these shades, oh, now they're going to make all these shades. So it's like, come on. Like, y'all wouldn't, like, y'all didn't care then. Don't start caring now. Don't nobody want to wear your cosmetics. Keep them. We good. Start supporting more of our own people and stop. Don't don't buy none of their stuff. You don't need to keep up with the Kardashians. I don't keep up with the Kardashians. The show or them or any. Like, I'm good. The only way we're going to stop it is to ignore them. <laughs> like, for real. It's to ignore them. If we ignore them, that would make a big impact and um yeah that's where i'm at cause. all right so if you guys like this video you already know what to do help us sister out and give it a thumbs up subscribe share comment and all that good stuff and come on back next thursday for more all right you guys until next